Well, when you hear the words border security, you might first think about the southern border with Mexico because it gets so much national attention. But there is a vast northern border with Canada that criminals and terrorists are constantly trying to breach. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell shows us how they try to break through the border in our own backyard. Here we have Lake St. Clair coming up on New Baltimore. From the sky, by water, and on the road. Agents with U.S. Customs and Border Protection guard our northern border. One Metro Detroit man has looked at their work in a new way since a man walked into his business with an offer. I'll give you 10 grand cash right now, and he pulled it out. It happened after the wrong person learned he has a fishing boat. I said, 10 grand for what? He goes, I'll pay you 10 grand to pick my son-in-law up anywhere on a Canadian border. It's illicit business that takes advantage of our border's weaknesses. They're asking anybody out there in boats, would you bring my family over? And some people will do it. And some succeed. A 2011 government study found less than 2% of the northern border is secure. Agent Joseph Ramos is one of the men working to improve that number. You know, on the southern border, you know, it's all open here. You know, most of the border is how people's homes. Like he faces busy waterfronts and vast, rough waters as he watches for anything out of place. We've had people with fishing poles with no line on them. He's one of about 400 Border Patrol agents guarding more than 3,800 miles of shoreline along international waters in Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, and Indiana. They arrested more than 600 people last year, busting human traffickers, drug smugglers, and even terrorists. Our main focus is terrorists and terrorist organizations and their weapons. With water so vast, it's clear that people on a boat like this can't keep an eye on everything. So cameras like that one are key to keeping the border safe. The border is so large that no one can do it alone. From this command center at the Selfridge Air National Guard Base, the Coast Guard, Office of Air and Marine and Border Patrol, watch those cameras and coordinate operations. The cameras allow a few people to watch 60 miles of border. They are high tech, can capture images miles away, and get the job done. Investigators confiscated these drugs on a Canadian man caught on camera trying to scuba dive across the border. They picked him up here and ended up coming up here to the mouth of the Bell River. On Gull Island, people don't understand about Gull Island. There's cameras out there. So when they have Johnny Neuter, I don't think they realize they're being filmed. Since being offered thousands to smuggle someone into the U.S., this man notices every camera and patrol. He says he gave the right answer when offered that 10 grand. And I said, take it and stick it. I ain't going to go to jail for your son. It's jail for life, and I ain't going to do that. I had a wife and kids. While we know how many people are caught trying to cross this border illegally, what we don't know are how many people make it across and are never caught. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Your car